Good morning. Today I wanted to talk about lighting because of all the skills under the filmmaking umbrella, I think it's both one of the most important and also the least discussed. The goal this year is to improve my ability to paint with light, and a big part of that is learning how to use new tools. One of the most interesting ways to modify light is with a projector lens. The concept is pretty simple. You have a light fixture that throws a normal wash of light, but if you install a projector lens on the front, you're basically focusing the light into a tighter shape which can be cut and modified further. That's essentially it. The fun part is you can insert these little gobos to shape the light into really specific patterns. In my normal talking headshot, I usually run a key light with a softbox as close as possible to my face without it creeping into the frame. Before now, I've only had access to one light, so I do my best to shoot while the sun is out to provide a little bit of visual interest, maybe even the occasional hair light if I time it correctly. Now I can simulate morning light spilling in through the window with a window gobo. For b-roll shots, you can throw in the blinds pattern and give some texture to a shot. You can use the foliage pattern to throw some texture, maybe even offset the white balance to make it look like moonlight. You can even adjust the focus of the light to soften or sharpen the edges of the pattern too, and it's as easy as adjusting the built-in slider control on the front of the unit. There's also other weird ways a projector can be useful. Say I want a wide source directly above my head on a low ceiling like this. I don't have the grip equipment or any flexible matte lighting, so usually this would be almost impossible. But with a projector, you can set the light up at an angle, cut it to the right shape, and you're good to go. It doesn't have to be right above you either. You can use this to bounce light everywhere, or even use one as a hair light and a key at the same time. There's basically an endless amount of things you can do with a projector. The problem is, it seems like they all suffer from at least one problem. Either they're super cheaply made, super expensive, or proprietary to a specific light fixture. I've always wanted one, but either didn't want to invest a huge chunk of cash or was apprehensive from bad reviews. But I finally found one that does its job really well for less than $400, and it's from iFootage, whom you probably know from their excellent support equipment and magic arms. The kit comes with a nice carrying case, the projector itself, a gobo tray, a whole bunch of gobos, a gel holder, and a couple gels to play with. The modifier itself is made of metal, and it feels really nice and solid, especially the Bowens mount. I'm definitely not concerned about this thing breaking anytime soon. I also have the Anglerfish SL1 130 BNA light fixture. It's really bright, tiny, super well built, and really fun to use. And it's bicolor, which is really helpful. I wish I owned like three of these and a whole bunch of those Anglerfish light fixtures. The whole setup is affordable, fun to use, and very capable. Once you start using a projector lens in your setups, you'll find uses for them all over the place. And this iFootage model is my favorite one out there right now. I'll be using it a whole bunch in the next couple of weeks, so I hope you stick around. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon.